obviously been an issue that has uh, been of concern to the citizens of Shillong. Uh, and obviously, we have tried many steps, but uh, there have been a lot of challenges. Uh, I will refrain from going into details because it will take a lot of time. But everything from, um, you know, parking at different levels uh, or different locations by different uh, individuals, stakeholders, <coughs> buses, taxis. Um, these are challenges that are there for us, uh, which then lead to further problems. Shifting them will require us to then give them options of of moving them and telling them, well, you, sh you come there because, you know, you, you, because if you move them from there, then they'll ask, where do we go? So everything has a has a problem. Uh, so therefore, uh, we had to fix it by ensuring that we come out with solutions, you know, small, small bits in here and a piece of there. So first thing, as I said, we, re we realize is that we need to get the vehicles out from the streets, park on the streets and put them in proper parking lots. So the procedure of starting off large number of parking lots has already started. Uh, you will see very soon that most probably by Christmas or by January, February, we will see that Watts Lake area will have a new parking lot, just to inform. So just behind the wall that is there and on the side of um, Taragar, if you see there is earthwork going on, that's a parking lot that's coming out there. So we will not have the parking vehicles parked there anymore. We'll have them inside. We'll have all the uh, other um, uh, you know, people who was, uh, what do you call, the um, vendors, street vendors who are there will be inside. Uh, so we need to give space to everybody. Similarly, for example, within the town and secretariat area, uh, already two locations have been identified uh, where we're going to come out with parking lots, uh, multiple uh, level parking lots. So now all those vehicles will not be, or at least most of them will not be in the streets anymore. So our streets will be uh, quite free and we hope that that will lead to some level of uh, decongestion. At the same time, we are also expecting and we are, we are working on creating a parking and a, a waiting space for the taxis and for the buses. So whether it's Kindalad or Motron, you'll see the taxis wait for one hour, 45 minutes, half an hour till, till they have enough passengers, they don't, they don't leave. So buses are, are the same. Uh, and therefore, uh, just simply pushing them out may not be a long-term solution. Hence, we need to create an alternative space for them. So we're working on that and we're expecting that that also should fructify uh, soon. Uh, at the same time, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're also ensuring that, uh, like for schools, what we have done is that we have started to discourage people from uh, going for, uh, you know, uh, personal vehicles. We're encouraging use of buses uh, at different levels. And we would like to do that for even government officials um, also. So that is also another, um, you know, another step that we plan to do. I had wanted to come up with a, a, a you know, a skywalk uh, that is going to be from uh, from Barik Point to uh, to the to Police Bazaar. And that also was on the cards. Uh, once we went into the implementation mode, uh, we were told by the police department and others that uh, once the construction work starts, it is going to lead to huge traffic congestion, um, you know, once the construction of this skywalks start. So hence, until unless we're able to do other things, we should hold on to the work of the skywalks, uh, which is what we have done right now. So we are waiting. Uh, once the parking lots come up and we see that we're seeing some impact of that, then only we will go ahead with the skywalks uh, and stuff like that. So there are multiple levels of works going on. It will be very difficult for me to uh, explain all of it right now. Uh, but I think the biggest thing which we are working on, which you all know, is that we are um, going to be shifting the entire administration of the city, uh, of the state, I'm sorry, uh, outside the main part of Shillong. So we are expecting uh, to shift to the new Shillong area for the Secretariat. And as you're aware that we have already started the groundwork for it. We are already in the process of getting the design consultants. Uh, and we expect that, uh, you know, within a few months, we should have the designs ready. And uh, even the work we expect that we should be able to start within this financial year itself is what we target. And that is before April, we would like to work for the, uh, for the new Secretariat to start. So we're hoping that that would be the final process of really leading to long-term decongestion. Because as you know that while we go for this project like this, there are other logistical factors like road connectivity to the new Shillong area. All of these have to be worked out. So uh, we are working on all of that and I don't want to go too much into details, but uh, it's a very broad question you asked me. 
So this is roughly in a nutshell what we plan to do. 